Welcome Aquarius. This reading is for you. This is your love reading for November. Please take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Your rising sign may have a more accurate reading at this time during the eclipse season. And make sure to hit that bell, hit that like, subscribe if this reading resonates. Okay, Aquarius. You have give in to passion. And seasonal harvest. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have tears of joy and sadness. Okay, what are the messages do we have for Aquarius? We have sacred reverence. Yeah, I love how there's a key and a heart. Okay. And we have exposed and revealed. At the bottom of the deck, we have ears wide open. Yeah, so someone may be saying or doing something at this time. Um, that we'll be exposing somebody. Hmm. We also have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. A lot of signs have had that um, due to the eclipse season, letting things go. You also have the judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And you have freedom on the bottom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. That's definitely Aquarius. That is definitely your energy. I feel like Aquarius, you are in control of your destiny with no doubt about it. Okay, let's get some tarot for Aquarius. Let's get some tarot for Aquarius. Spirit guides and angels, what information does Aquarius need to know in love at this time? Okay, so you have the Two of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You have the Hermit. You have the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, counterparts right next to each other. You have the Ten of Swords. And you have the Eight of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. So what you don't see, you're going from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So you're walking into your destiny. You are finding that one. You're getting your wish fulfillment. Wow. Very interesting. Aquarius. Okay, so 
first off, we've got the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, I feel like you're spending a lot of time. You've been setting your priorities. You may have not even had your mind on love. You've had your mind on your finances, on your bank. Um, you haven't even been thinking about love at the moment. You've been too busy. You've been too busy to think about love. And I feel like you've been alone for a while and you're kind of okay with it. I feel like you've kind of accepted that you're going to be alone and you've kind of kind of dealt with it as you would. It's no big deal. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling that intuitively. It's like mm, no big deal. But um then this king of cups Sorry, I dropped the card. Then this King of Cups walks in. And now you have this counter card. This is something you weren't even expecting. This is something that you didn't even see coming. You were blindsided. This is something you were totally blindsided on. You didn't even see it coming. Um, but now this person is offering you their cup. They're offering you love and kindness, a thoughtful relationship. They're willing to put in all the work. They're willing to build something into something that's long lasting. This is stability. This is long lasting stability. This is something that endures. This is a, the end of you being single. It's the total end. You've kind of, you, you haven't even seen it yet. You haven't even accepted it. But do you see the brightness? Do you see the brightness of the swords? The brightness of the swords, this is the end of your being single. You are walking into your contentment. You're walking into something that is going to brighten your future something that you have to look forward to that's where this nine of cups comes in that's something you don't see you don't see the nine of cups this is your total wish fulfillment this is something that you wished for but you didn't see it coming and now it's here yeah yeah aquarius you have done the work. Now this is your karma. This is karma for everything that you've done. This is your reward. Your Nine of Cups. And now you're getting your Empress. Your beautiful Empress. Now I'm, I'm not attaching gender to the cards. If you're female and you're looking for a male, the Empress could be that energy. If you're looking for a female, this could be that energy. I'm not attaching gender to the cards. This is just a counterpart. This is actually love coming in that you didn't see coming. You had no idea that this was coming your way. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands. So you can expect some kind of invitation, some kind of offer that's going to lead you to this person if you haven't already met them. Um, this person may give you an offer. This person may contact you. 
And with the King of Pentacles, yeah. You've been focused so much on, on work. And you haven't even thought about any love interest. But... This is thought about you. Somewhere along the line, you put out the intention. Maybe you've been having dreams. Maybe you haven't have been dreaming about this person, and it's left you anxious and in waiting. With the hermit, you have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, this person is going to be coming in fast. I, I believe your life is going to change quickly. This person definitely wants to move forward with you. They want something meaningful. Yeah, they want their Ten of Pentacles. They want their Ten of Pentacles with you. This may lead to marriage. This may lead to family, commitment, a legacy. They're not fearful of what you bring to the table. They've already made their choice. Whatever choices you need to make, Go ahead and make them because this person is here. This person is going to bring you out of your feelings of lack. You've been feeling like you would, you've been feeling sluggish or a lot of uncontentment. I don't even think that's a word, but I'm, that, that's what I'm, I wanted to say. But yeah, they definitely want to build something new. They want to plant the seeds. They want to build something that's lasting and make something grow. Build something into a prosperous new beginning. It's funny, you didn't even see it coming. You did not even see it coming, Aquarius. You didn't even feel like you were uncontent because you were so busy. You didn't even notice what you were lacking in your life because you just, you, you kept so busy. You felt like you weren't missing or needing anything else. But yeah, now it's time to surrender. Now it's time to move forward in this situation. I think this person is going to bring a whole new perspective to your life. This person is going to bring stability to you, even though you're already stable, I think this person is going to make you feel more grounded, more centered. Wow. Okay, let's get some cards to end this reading for Aquarius. What advice do we have for Aquarius? With the monology, please. Take time to breathe out the decimating moon. Yeah, I think that this is going to be moving fast. And you may want to take a time to breathe. Because this energy is just going to like whisk in like, wow. It's time to remove. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so any... Anything that you kind of carried with you from any old relationships, you want to go ahead and just release that energy. And this is actually a great time to release and get rid of what no longer serves you. 
<laughs> of course, you're very close to achieving your goal to give you a swoon. Okay, Aquarius. And at the bottom, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Yeah, this is something you weren't expecting. Okay, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And uh, if this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any further readings. And I will see you on the next one. Aquarius. Love and light.